I was quite bored some time ago and I thought let's design a 3D printed water pump and see if it will work. As you can see it is working, even better than I expected. So in this video I will show you how to make your own and how well it performs. That's how design looks like. I tried to keep it as simple as possible to get it working. I have designed two versions of it, I will talk more about both of them at the end of the video. As you can see there are three parts. That's how render looks like. Quite nice. Total printing time of all of them is about 3 hours and you have to use supports to print that out. I speeded up printing process by printing on two printers at once. That's all of the components that we need. Motor is cheap and popular one. You can find it in mechanical air freshener like this one. Before assembling we have to remove supports from all prints. It is almost impossible to do by hand, so you should use some tools to do that. Assembling is simple, the only one thing that you need to check is if the turbine is spinning freely. Now we can use hot glue technology to seal it. Don't put too much glue on this because it will look bad. Don't put too little because it wouldn't be tight enough. Turbine should spin easily. I also put some glue on the motor to hold it in place. Now we can solder cables to the motor. And by the way, this motor is not waterproof. This is a normal brushed DC motor. It works underwater, but water can short its lifetime. We can also take off the insulation from the other side of the cables to connect it to the battery. I used 12 volt battery to power it. This motor is not suitable to work on 12 volts, but since the water is around it, it shouldn't overheat, or at least I hope so. As you can see, water stream is quite high. Let's test what is the flow of the water. How many liters this thing can pump up in an hour? Of course, I wouldn't turn it on for an hour, just for a minute. Then I will measure how many water is in the bowl and multiply that by 60. That speed it up minute. After a minute we have around 0.75 liters of water. So in an hour we will get 45 liters, that's quite good result, but I am not expert when it comes to pumps. But I also have the first version of my pump, with a little bit different turbine. Let's see if it will be better.
As you can see, there is 0.9 liter of water. So we have a 55 liters per hour. So, what was the difference between turbines? One of them is closed on the bottom, and that's the second version. I thought it will perform better, but it's not. The first version is better, the one on the left. I will put on my Thingiverse both of them so you can choose which one you like. Maybe for you the second one will be better, who knows. So as you can see it is possible to 3D print a water pump. It was really fun to make, I hope you like it. That's all for this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it helps me a lot. Also like the video if you like it. Or maybe dislike it if it wasn't good. You can also ask questions in the comments and say what type of videos do you want to see next. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.